Now, all new at five, a former Miami Dolphins player has been charged with running a Ponzi scheme. The SEC is charging Will Allen with helping orchestrate a $32 million scheme that targeted both athletes and investors. CBS 4's David Sutta is in the newsroom with details of this former NFL cornerback now on the defense again. That's right, Will Allen played 11 seasons in the NFL. He retired in 2012, and around that time, the Securities and Exchange Commission says that he started up a number of businesses with a financial advisor. The main focus of the business was to make short-term loans to athletes. They targeted athletes who needed money during the offseason. The pros would pay between 9 and 18 percent to the investors. Now, Allen and his partner, Susan Dobb, were apparently very good at raising money. This is Allen's house in Davie. He made millions in the NFL, and according to the SEC, the two raised nearly $32 million from investors. However, they only lent out about half that money, $18 million. When investigators took a closer look, they say they found Allen and Dobb were paying investors back with investors' money, not repayments from the athletes. That's a classic Ponzi scheme. The SEC says bank records show the two used $7 million from investors for personal and expenses for other businesses. This included spending at hotels, flights, casinos, even pawn shops. Now, Allen and Dobb, who lives in Coral Springs couldn't be reached for comment. Live in the newsroom, David Sutta, CBS 4 News.